Hello, and we're back for another episode. I am Josh from the Team Killing Noobs. Alright. Um, the Loyalists. I expect they're girl. hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. I'm sure the Admiral was anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. I, I suppose it wasn't easy getting me here. Hey, what's this? At last, Admiral, we found our man. Even after six months in Codridge Prison, he slipped out. Alright, let's see what's up here. I know I'm meant to be going over there, but I really want to have a look around. This place is very interesting. Now... Oh, cool. I can actually... I can actually go there? Alright. Hound pits. Uh, okay. Guess that that's for later or something. Don't know. Ah uh, la 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 la. Oh, I can go up here. That's cool. Attention all citizens, curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. <gasps> There's something over there. Ah! Oh, I did it! Awesome. There's an X over there. I don't think there's anything other interesting around. Alright, I guess we'll go to the main mission. Unless there's something in that big, huge towel. Welcome to the Hound Pit Pub, sir. How may I help? Hello, sir. I am Wallace, and this. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress, but something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out, if I understand it right. Okay. What's down there? I wonder what's up here, too. Second floor. Man! What's this? It's just loot every pla everywhere. Did you do that? <laughs> My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. I'll begin again tomorrow. Hmm. I really don't feel like reading that. Read, read, read. No, thank you. What's this over here? Is this just another book? Yes, it is. Just another book. Don't feel like reading. Let's see what this one here says. It 
seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. The Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point. We need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. <laughs> oh. Is this off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is the... Ha <laughs> uh. Okay. I just uh, was doing some settings, that's why I was doing a bit of a cut there. Oh, hello Wallace. Oh, I thought he was gonna... If I may, I am the personal assistant to Lord Pendleton, and one of the senior servants at Pendleton House, as was my father. Now I am entrusted with this house, the home of the Loyalists. I have never seen the Admiral fail at any venture. If order can be restored to the city of Dunwall, I believe he can do it. If anyone can get your old life back, it's him. Okay. I like how you can actually go into every single room. That is a really good thing. Makes you want to adventure every nook and cranny. Because I'm that type of person. Oh. Hello, Leander. Hi. You must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well... I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Oh, what's that implying? Hmm? What is that implying, Miss Leander? How do you say that? Leander? Or Leada? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I don't care about books. Unless they're key to the storyline. Uh, I really should probably go speak before I venture my venture to a place Uh, um. Alright, I think it's best to get on with the mission instead of just wandering around. Go further up. What's up here? It used to be a room, obviously. Oh, it's my chambers. Apparently, hello. Admiral Havelock made it very clear that we aren't to carry lamps outside. Yeah, let's have a drink of that water. I'm sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic though, isn't it? <laughs> bit delayed with the smashing there. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get to it. I know I've just been really, keep on venturing even further after saying I should just do the main quest, but I think I've ventured every spot now. Could have gone through the door, but all right, let's let's talk to the loyalists. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here, Corvo. I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with them. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. 
We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Okay. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. All right. We can talk more when you've rested. Nice. Nice little pub. I guess that just goes outside. All right. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. <laughs> what? You don't like me throwing around this? That one is empty. A new tank. No. I'll just take everything of yours and leave you bare. Die! I speculated <laughs> this might happen. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> You've been bad. Unexpected. Yeah. I love that about about Fallout. <laughs> Just about about things made by Bethesda. Why would you do this? All right. Okay. What the hell is? These signs and things. Hmm. Well, that looks really futuristic. The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances developed. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject and I see he's not particularly one of those scientists that do it by the book, is he? Alright. And throw. Astonishing. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. All right, I know what I'm going to do with this. Perfect. Now plug it in. I've already heard this. <sighs> that was hilarious. Uh, 
Do, do, do. Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. The assassin's mask. Okay. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. Okay. There. Can you see normally? Some lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Hey. Upgrades hey. for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Okay. Tell me what I can make for you. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Let's see what you you can make for me. Um, rewire to allow you to rewire security and turn security systems to your advantage. Upgrades. Crossbow range. Um, that one. Virtuous bullets. Trap that can be. All right, I think that will do it. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. I'll agree with him. Sleep well. 